hour and a half because I specifically asked my boss. She asked me if I wanted to work on Sunday, and I was like, "Well, not really, but if, if you know, if uh, if you're in trouble, I'll uh, naturally I'll come help. You know, it's like pretty loyal to my boss." So I was like, "Okay," but I kind of want to start it uh, at six because usually I start at five. Way back in the day, but I'm like, you know, Sundays. Sundays like prime time streaming day, man. Like most of I get most I get the biggest numbers on Sunday. Everyone's off on Sunday. And Sunday it's flurry worry time, damn it. So <laughs> So I asked my boss if I could start at six, so I started at six and I forgot about that. Before the coffee and the ad break, so Okay, well, I never try something like mushrooms either, because I, like, I feel like that. I'm too scared. Like, I'm a bit of a scaredy cat like that. And I know that I get addicted really fast to shit like that. It's like, I just get addicted really fast to everything. Like, U4. Like, what? U4, cigarettes, coffee, sugar, salt, anything. Anything that tastes good. I'm like, give it to me. I want more. So, <laughs> I, uh, I try to not, uh, try to not get any of that really nasty stuff. Oh wow, the chat's really far behind. EU4 is a little bit like amphetamine, no need to sleep, drink and eat. Yeah, that's true. Ever tried snorting pepper? Oh, I did that once! Oh no, I snorted peppermint! I snorted peppermint as like a joke with my boss, because I was cleaning out the peppermint uh, uh, flask. You know, the flask with peppermints in it. I, you don't know what I'm talking about. We have a flask with peppermints in it. And, um, you know, after a while, the, the, the peppermints go all, um, go all crumbling, right? So they, they crumble. So then you get all this peppermint dust. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you want to grab some peppermints to give to people when they get the check, you know, you need to, uh, you need to like, grab yourself some peppermints. But if you let that crumble, and you let that crumble for, like, a month or two, it's, like, really hard and... Uh, to get like just like the peppermints because you want them to have the peppermints, right? So like it's um, So what you do is you um, You have to clean that out like every every two months or so and uh, I had all this peppermint dust in my hand and I was like hey boss You want to <laughs> You want to buy some coke? Hey, you want to buy some coke? <laughs> and he said is it good stuff? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> So I snorted that, and, and it hurt so much, like, holy shit, that hurt. <laughs> it burned my nostrils so hard. Like, don't do peppermint, guys. Jesus, I didn't expect it to hurt that much, but it did. <laughs> it really burned. <laughs> How about cannabis? Yeah, of course I did. Do cannabis sometimes. Like, some people seem to be under the impression that the Dutch do cannabis like every week or something like that. But, I mean, I suppose there are people that do that. I mean, it's relatively cheap in the Netherlands because it's legal. No. Well, it's not legal. It's like they see it through the fingers. It's a Dutch thing. They see it through the fingers. It's not legal to make it. Neither is it legal to sell it. Neither is it legal to have it. But uh, they'll see selling it through the fingers, so it's like legal, but not really legal. But uh, I don't like it. It's like maybe four times a year or something like that. It's like yeah, I don't know. I used to do it more back in high school, but not that often now. Because you know, you'll be you'll be like incapacitated. For like the entirety of that day, and the next day you're gonna be like, nah, nah, nah. and it really does help you sleep well, though. Like you'll feel very much, very much rested the day after that day. But uh, like I don't have time to get incapacitated like that. I need to play this game a lot, a lot more, and to be better. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever. <laughs> Goddamn.
Flory Worry Practical Jokes 2016. <laughs> Don't snort peppermint. It really hurts. Don't do it. Hey man, I'm new to EU4. Played Hearts of Iron 3 for a long time and picked it up to hold me over until the D-Day release. Question, what is the most impactful DLC for EU4? What one gives the most mechanic upgrades and functionality? Art of War. By far. Art of War gives you something fancy called Transfer Occupation. And I think that's like really essential. So Art of War, I'd say, is definitely the biggest one. Um, if you are planning to play as a vassal, like uh, Norway or Sweden, it'd probably be a good idea to pick up Conquest of Paradise as well, because that allows you to ask people for uh, support independence. But don't quote me on that. I don't know if they've changed that, because very often they'll have like a DLC and then they, um, you know, bring out a new DLC. That has a feature attached to another feature and then they need to unlock that for that DLC as well. So I don't know if Conquest of Paradise is the only thing that allows you to get support for independence. But Grant for Occupation being a DLC. Oh, oh. I mean, it's not essential. Two day nosebleed from Salt? Holy shit. I only snorted like a little bit too. That was so stupid. So stupid. Okay, so I want a Lithuanian province. This is Lithuanian. I want a small Lithuanian province. I'm giving that province over to Poland. So, Lithuania. No! Cannot be selected because Poland doesn't want it! Darn! Darn! Heck in a handbasket. What about Palenque then? You, you should want Palenque, it's Polish. Ah. <sighs> I think Eldorado is pretty good as well since you can make custom nations and I think it adds support independence as well. Okay, there you go. Right, in that case, I'd probably go for Eldorado and Art of War. Because, um, you know. Eldorado, I don't even know what Conquest of Paradise really adds other than support independence. I don't really know what all of the DLCs do. I just know that Art of War is really big because of transfer occupation and uh, Conquest of Paradise. Uh, support independence is pretty useful if you plan to play as a vassal. Otherwise, you may as well not get it because it's like... Right. You, you'd probably want that Polish boss, right? Ah. Alright, whatever. We'll stick to the plan. Yeah, but to return core's option would also revoke the core, I think, so I don't want to do that. Sad that Poland doesn't want anything. Should have promised them land and then they would have wanted something. Now, hold on, I think I've seized down all of the forts. I don't know why it's being so much of a douche nozzle right now. Is it really those couple provinces that I still need to siege down? Is that, is that really what's going on here? Apparently. But I'm a lazy asshole! I don't want to do that. I still want to win all those treaties with France, though.
had <laughs> claims that they didn't want them. Oh god. I really do have to say though, the AI got a lot better in this game. It didn't get better, but they made it pick ideas smarter. Like, AI's picking defensive and diplomatic is clever. I was raging about that last night. Because I thought I was just unlucky, but I'm pretty sure they just made it so that AI picks that more often. That's good. It makes the AI harder to beat. And that is good in my book. Even though it makes them, like, it's really annoying that they all pick that stupid fucking shit. Getting to the point where it's ridiculous, though. He's got so much war exhaustion. Got 91% war score. Should probably accept this beast deal. Like, what do I still need to see down at this point? Yetazan? Is that really it? Yeah, Yetazan and uh, Theodoro itself. Fucking hell. Wait a couple days and then we white piece Theodoro. And we probably want to raise the autonomy in those newly conquered provinces. Start pouring them. So apparently my merchants are a little bit too influential and they're also on 60 liberty to, uh, 60 fucking shit. 60 fucking shit, yes? Alright. Man some points. And we gotta remove some land, because he's on 50%. You don't want your guys to be on 50% loyalty, you want them to be somewhere between 40 and 50 because then it's ticking up. And in order to do that, you want their land to be on 10%. So this is perfect, it's gonna tick up now, his land is on 10%, and this is all good. So, so these uh, nobility need to lose some land as well. Can't take away anymore because otherwise they'll have less than 10%. The merchants <coughs> be allowed to lose some land. Well, I want them at 10%, so this is fine. So, my truce with the Ottomans is going to be over in 78. That's three years from now. Well, two years and 11 months. My truce with Delhi is going to be over 86, 10 years. And this truce is going to be over... Yeah, okay. Uh, we do have a... We could attack this guy, though, in May. Don't know if we'll be able to beat him in two years' time. I doubt it, so we'll have to let that slide. We need to stick with our priorities here. And that would be uh, the ultimate, so... Attacking that as soon as possible. Now, are you west on anything, you stinking piece of dong? 
He's not. Wait, I saw plus five. Okay, never mind. All right, Theodoro. White piece that guy. I want to white piece him because he's being guaranteed by the fuck. He's being guaranteed by the fuck. He's not being guaranteed anymore. That's alright. He might get guaranteed later by somebody else, and that would give me a chance to attack them without their gazillion million trillion allies. And I quite like attacking people without gazillion trillion million allies. So who are you allied with this time? Orozan. And Tunis, apparently. So we'll keep an army in Corazan. Can I set them as a cobalt belligerent? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Don't wanna. Ah, we can grab out my ideas. I could also grab this military tech right now, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I guess I should. The better cannons would really help out, so I'm grabbing that. And then we're going to grab our next military idea, which is going to be quality, of course. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Holy shit, though. That's a lot of separatists. What the balls? Sheesh, man. That is some sick shit. Ugh. Oh god, my navy. Probably switch out into those better cannons. At least this Catholic land is gonna be a lot easier to convert than the Sunni land. And infantry combat ability. Sweet. And that that this this fucking shit is gonna be great too. The yearly army tradition. We'll get plus two. It's quite nice. Uh, would probably stabilize me at around 40 army tradition. It's good. Mm. Oh god, I love coffee so much. Oh, coffee's the best. Oh, coffee. Mmm. Good shit. Good shit, ladies and gentlemen. Good ass fucking times. Good ass fucking times. Oh, Kill was sending me money. That is also quite good ass fucking times. Let's put those natives to work. I guess I'll be wanting to build a spy network in the Ottomans. We have finally caught up in military tech. But damn, they've had a bad game. They blobbed a lot and then they westernized. Why am I building factories in my trade company provinces? Because it increased... Uh, what is that? Oh, that's a Hindu stamp. Because it increases the uh, goods produced. And that increases the trade value by a lot. And that increases my trade income by a lot. Hence, I increase the trade income.
Loans? No, I didn't take loans. I didn't take a single loan. I haven't taken a loan since a uh, very long time ago. Just, uh, you know, admin efficiency, man. Admin efficiency and uh, opportunism. And apparently gifts from other people. Oh, I was increasing the autonomy in the wrong province. Now they should start dropping down. When will it be time to take Rome? Uh, I don't know. Once I've got quality finished up, I don't want to fight the Europeans. They, they, the Europeans are scary men. This is at four o'clock then. Yeah, I gotta stop at five because I gotta work at six. And I gotta go shower and eat, and I don't need to shave. I don't need to shave. I hate shaving, but I have to. It's so stupid. Shaving's dumb. But I can't go to work with a jungle fort on my face. <laughs> that would be it. Uh, would be uncomfortable to watch. And I get that. I mean, I, I, I feel uncomfortable watching uh, jungle forts. So. This is a little bit differently, actually. to separate beast students. Any plans for Corazan? Yeah, there. Oh, no. Shit. Well, this is quite unfortunate. What do I work as? I work as a waiter. Ah, oh, thank god, I didn't lose any transport chips. I rip. I did lose a sizable amount. Like, I won't be able to bring those along, so. Am I not even going to help out Austria a little bit? No, why would I? Really don't see the point in doing that. <coughs> They're my soon to be enemy. I don't need their help anymore. It's like I have no trouble being merciless in single player. I should apply the same logic to multiplayer. But I didn't and hence I lost. Yeah. 
Okay, so he's almost here. I don't need to uh, force march him all the way. But it was gonna be way too late, and that would have been unfortunate. Okay, truce with the Ottomans is over. I think we'll be declaring this war. Are you still bankrupt? No. But yeah, the sooner we declare this war, the sooner uh, length of war is gonna go away. And we could call in Poland, that's nice. I'll call in. So, I mean, I'll uh, set Tunis as a co-belligerent and we'll do Holy War. Let's go. I do want him to move there in a relatively timely fashion, and we need another general, actually. No, I forgot to set Corazan. No, I didn't mean to set Corazan as a co-belligerent. I had every intention of killing him there. Get shrekt, motherfucker. Get fucking shrekt. This is the von Schlieffen plan in work. worried about France building a uh, level 8 forts. He's got way too many forts to build all of them into level 8s. They're all level 2s. Level 6, level 2, level 3, level 2, level 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Not too worried. I'm kind of sad about uh, Tunis evading my troops there. That's okay. I'll catch them later. This is the B-52 carpet bombing. Sweet. Sells a new advisor. Really not all that interested in grabbing a high-level diplo advisor because I'm like way behind, uh, way ahead in military. Uh, fucking shit. Anyway, so. we get another 15% morale. That should be nice. Mercenary, sadly. <clears throat> they can do that. There you go. How much money am I making directly off of trade companies? You can't check that. It's like, it's along the lines of like 50, 50 to 60% of my income. Because of, of this event. That event alone is like half of my income. That, that event really needs a nerf. Like that is just stupid. 